In 2019, there was Chennai water crisis. It was eye-opening for whole of India. Normally, in summer season, water scarcity is at its peak. The water scarcity problem is not only limited to India, but also in the whole world. This is my house tank overflowing and in rainy season, it is very difficult to understand whether the tank has overfilled or not. Normally, conductive type water level sensor is what we used in the past, but its electrode gets eroded with time. Other form of water level sensor is float type mechanical switches which can get jammed. This is ultrasonic sensor which is pretty expensive and is dependent on the moisture content of air. This is the working of the ultrasonic sensor where sound waves bounce at the water surface and time of flight of the wave is calculated. This is capacitive type which I will try to make. It consists of two plates which are insulated with thin layer of plastic. A capacitor stores charge. Epsilon or permittivity of water to air is 80 times. Hence there is a significant change which we get to see. These are the electrode design I tried and failed. Rest in peace my dear electrodes. And this is the design I got success. So ha 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 ha. We will first start with the board. We will solder the board. Here the op amp is used LM324 and the IC base will be soldered first. One tip for soldering is apply the flux first to the soldering side and then solder. So what flux does is that it removes the oxide layer from the soldering site. Potentiometer used is 10 kilo ohm. Op amp is LM324. Diode used is 1 n 4007. The circuit diagram is at the last part of the video. This is the final circuit board. Cut the PVC pipe, then cut the aluminium foil. Wrap the aluminium foil or laminate it in plastic. Make sure there is no air in between the plastic and the aluminium foil. You can also use cellotape. So before making the wire connection, make sure you rub the aluminium foil to remove any dirt or any oil. Then connect it with the wire after rubbing it. So laminate that aluminium foil with wire. Insert it in the PVC pipe. Here is my laminated aluminum foil plates. I will insert it in the pipe. Finally, it will look like this. So, if it is done wrong, then you will see these white patches in the plate and you will have higher capacitance, more than 5 nanofarad, which is very bad. Normally, in air, depending on the plate area, capacitance which I got is 200 picofarad to 800 picofarad or 0.2 pic nanofarad to 0.8 nanofarad. In water, it should be in between 1 nanofarad to 2.5 nanofarad or 1000 picofarad to 2500 picofarad. If you get beyond 5 nanofarad or 5000 picofarad, it means water damage has been done to your electrodes and plastic coating is compromised. And it is really very bad news and I have also failed many times. Here we can see the demonstration. We are seeing the capacitance of the laminated plates, the value using a multimeter. Next, we'll see software simulation in which we'll determine the function of each and every components that are used in the circuit. In the simulation circuit, green represents op-amp output and blue represents capacitor output. Capacitor in the circuit discharges using a 30 kilo ohm resistance. In the final circuit, it discharges through a 100 kilo ohm resistance. So, if I change capacitance value from 1 nanofarad to 2 nanofarad, op amp gives a stable high output. This is because it can hold more charge, hence takes more time to discharge. The op amp LM324 works as a comparator. You need to tune the potentiometer to adjust the op amp output. The signal given by the Arduino here in the simulation circuit is 50% duty cycle of 100 microsecond high means 5 volt and 100 microsecond low means 0 volt. 
The circuit diagram for the whole project is at the end of the demonstration. The Arduino program which actually runs the microcontroller or the whole project is actually at the end of the video. You can take the program or copy the program from the screenshot. The Arduino or the microcontroller that is at Mega 328P generates square wave of 100 microsecond high and 100 microsecond low. The output of the op amp is analyzed by the Arduino. If the op amp output is high, then it can activate or deactivate a relay according to the programming. So here in the project, I have actually played an alarm, showed a light. But in the final demonstration or the, in the final result, which I will be using in my house, there is actually a relay which will be switched on and off. And that relay will be con controlling the switching on and off of a pump. So this is a way in which you can build your own do-it-yourself uh, capacitive type level switch. If you add a relay to the same circuit, then you can switch on and off a pump. Just you need to tweak the algorithm a little bit. I have a wish like if our channel crosses 100 subscribers then I will make the same circuit without the microcontroller. Okay. So if you think if you like the video please like share and subscribe. So okay there is another thing. So if you just tweak the algorithm a little bit make it intelligent such that it can correct fault and it can adapt itself and also change the potentiometer and few resistance add few resistance, change the potentiometer with digital to analog converter, you can actually use the same circuit to measure any polar liquid. So if there, if anybody out there who wants to collaborate, wants to do a startup based on capacitive type level switches, there is the comment section, my email ID in the about section. So I am always there to collaborate. So till then, thank you. Now I will just go and connect it with the pump if my father agrees and we'll see you in the next video so please like share and subscribe that's it for now thank you